Hello, my fabulous Fair Plains friends. It's me, Miss Eva, back with Sunday School lesson number two from the book of James. And whoa, this time it is getting messy. Do you see that? Look at that, look at that picture. That's me, that's my face. So I want you to check out this video so you can see what happened here. Hmm. I told you. Three, three, two, one. <sighs> oh, man, so messy. But how did I end up in such a mess? And what on earth does it have to do with what the Bible tells us in James chapter 1, verses 19 through 27? Well, I told here's a hint. We need to listen to God's word and to do what it says. Yeah, that's right. Listen and do. So let's check out what the Bible tells us. Because remember, this is God's word. Do you have your Bible? If Do you? Well, if not, go and get it. Just push pause, go get it, and then push play to join in. We'll wait. Go. La, 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 la. Okay, you're back. Great. Now let's check this out. The first thing that we want to do is we want to find the book of James because the Bible has a lot of different books in it. Now, one way you can do that is if you look at the front of your Bible, one of the early pages, there's a table of contents. There's one for the Old Testament and one for for the New Testament. And I'm going to look in the New Testament and I'm going to find the book of James. Now in my Bible, it says it's on page 735. So I'm going to turn there right now. And you turn in your Bible to the book of James. Here we go. We're finding it. I'm almost there. Almost there. Oh, James, where are you? Page 735 for me, but I bet it's in a different page for yours. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Are you almost there? I found it. There's James. Yeah. So now, one thing you want to know when you're looking for to find something in the Bible is there's different books, and usually the book name is at the top. So like mine says James, and you can see on the picture here. And then in these books, there are actually chapters. Yeah. So I don't know about you, but um, I really like to read chapter books. Don't you? Well, the Bible is full of chapter books. So we are in chapter one of James. All right. Can you find that? You see the number one on yours? Mine is right there. Now, once you find the book, and the chapter, then you want to find the verses. And if you look in your Bible, you'll see that there are verse numbers. They're the little numbers that are by the words. So find verse 19. We are going to be looking at verses 19 through 27, but we're going to start at 19 today. Now, if you aren't quite ready to read this by yourself, then be sure and ask a family member to help you. I want you to be sure to read all of James chapter 1, verses 19 through 27 this week. And it would be awesome if you did it with your family. Maybe you could read it for your mom and dad. Wouldn't that be cool? Now, don't forget to send me a picture of you with your Bible, giving me a thumbs up when you read your verses this week. That would be wonderful. Be just like this. See, I got this one. Isn't that great? Here's Kerrigan and McKinley with their Bibles after they listened to last week's lesson. I love it. Great job, girls. 
And I can't wait to see more of your smiling faces. I hope all of you will send me your pictures. Now, let's dive into our Bible verses for today. In James chapter 1, verses 19 through 27. Now, we are zooming in on verses from on verse 19, where it says this. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. So God wants us to listen and to do. Right here in God's word, it tells us to be quick to listen. But it doesn't stop with just listening. Just listening isn't enough. I can listen to hear what I should do, but then I need to do it. So I need to be slow to speak and slow to get angry. Does that mean that I need to talk very slowly? Is that what I mean? Is that what it means when it says be slow to speak? No. What it's saying is that we need to listen to what others have to say instead of jumping in and interrupting them and, and just assuming that we know what they're going to say. Listen. Be slow to speak. And maybe they say something that's not what you want to hear. Well, be slow to get angry. Sound good? Make sense? What you saw earlier, well, that was pretty much a perfect example of doing it the wrong way. I got into a mess with Laura. So check this out. And I want you to remember this first. We are told to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Watch this video and see if you can tell where I went wrong, okay? Let's check this Mom, out. are you listening? Hi, yeah, yeah, I am listening. Okay, good, you need to get out of the way because wait, wait, I am listening to you. I heard you, you just told me that I need to get out of the way. Gotcha, you I need to you. get out of the way. Yes, yes, I heard you tell me I need to get out of the way. Got it. Really, you need to get out of the way. I heard you tell me I need to get out of the way. I got it. I'm supposed to get out of the way. Oh. I told you. Three, two, one. Did you see where I went wrong, right? The Bible says that I should be quick to listen, and I did listen, but I definitely wasn't slow to speak, and I wasn't slow to get angry. So I did listen to Laura, right? I was quick to listen, but I didn't do what she told me to do. I could have avoided that mess if I had listened to her and then did what she told me to do. How about you? You may be able to avoid a big mess if you'll listen to God's word and do what it says. Sound good? All right, let's zoom in to verse 21, where it says, humbly accept the word God has planted in your hearts, for it has the power to save your souls. Wow, this is big. Accept the word that God has planted in your hearts. Why? Well, because it has the power to save your souls. When we listen to God's word, what it tells us, it, it's like a little seed that grows as we do what it says. When we accept what God's word says, 
we can plug into the power that comes from following Jesus. And someday we get to spend all of eternity with him. Isn't that great? Now we're going to zoom in to verses 22 through 25, where it says, but don't just listen to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. If you listen to the word and don't obey, it's like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself, walk away, and forget what you look like. But if you look carefully into the perfect law that sets you free, and if you do what it says, and don't forget what you heard, then God will bless you for doing it. Mmm, listen and do. It says it very clearly right here. Don't just listen to God's word. We are supposed to listen, but we don't stop there. Then we must do what it says. Otherwise, we're only fooling ourselves. You know, the Bible can be sort of like a mirror. It's not like I can use it while I fix my hair. It doesn't show us what we look like on the outside, but it does show us what we look like on the inside. It, it shows us what we should look like, like Jesus. He is holy, perfect. But then we listen to God's word and we can see that on the inside, we really don't look like Jesus a lot of times. We disobey, we tell lies, we sin in lots of ways. We might think we look great on the inside, but when we listen to God's word, the Bible, that mirror shows us that we don't look so holy. But God wants us to be holy, just like he's holy. He wants to plant his word in our hearts to grow as we listen to it. Then as we grow, we do what his word tells us to do. Are you listening? I hope so. Let's play a little listening game, okay? Now listen to what I tell you to do and then do it, okay? All right, stand up. Go ahead. Put your hands on your shoulders. Put your hands on your head. Wave your arms like chicken wings. <laughs> All right, put your hands on your shoulders. Now, jump up and down five times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa, did you listen? How many times did I tell you to jump? Five times, not six or seven, but did you keep jumping? Hmm, let's try this again. All right, here we go. Put your hands in the air and wave them around. Now, put your hands on your head. Now, jump up and down three times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how did you do that time? Did you stop it three times? I hope you were listening. Sometimes it can be tricky. We listen to what God wants us to do and then we have to pay attention to do it instead of going along with what we hear from others. You got it? Good, now have a seat. And let's listen to God's word from verses 26 and 27. If you claim to be religious, but don't control your tongue, you're fooling yourself and your religion is worthless. Can you control your tongue? I'm not talking about this. Uh, 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 not like that. And, and not like this. Hmm? Mm -hmm? Mm -hmm? You do that? But that's not what I'm talking about. No, no, no. I'm talking about talking, really. And yelling 
maybe talking back to your parents or teachers, maybe telling lies, ooh, maybe saying mean things to other kids. Can you control your tongue? When we listen to God's word and do what it says, well, it'll help us to control our tongue. When you make the decision to follow Jesus, his Holy Spirit moves in and starts helping you from the inside out. And as you listen and do, you will be able to hold your tongue and stop hurting others with your words. Instead, you can say things that help others. Don't you love it when someone says something nice to you? Yeah, me too. I definitely want God to help me to control my tongue. Don't you? Yeah? All right, helping others is what the last verse in James chapter 1 is about. Let's read it. Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. We listen to God's word and we do what it says. That means that instead of being hurtful to others, we'll be helpful. When someone needs help, a Christian doing what God said to do will help. Now you may be little, but there are tons of ways that you can help others. You could help sort food to give to people who need food. We're collecting food right now at our church. You can be kind to your friends and maybe play what they wanna play instead of trying to be in control. You can start right in your own home. That would be awesome. Help your mom without even being asked. Oh, wow, wouldn't that be amazing? Maybe wash the dishes or sweep the floor. And when your parent does ask you to do something, well, just do it. Don't argue, don't talk back. Just say, yes ma'am, or yes sir. Just listen and do it. It says at the end of verse 27 that we should refuse to let the world corrupt us. In other words, when we really listen to God's word and do what it says, we can avoid getting messy. Remember what happened when I didn't listen and do? God wants us to listen to his word and to do what it says. He is so awesome that if we ask him to help us, he will. So let's do that right now. Let's talk to God and ask him to help us. And how do we talk to God? That's right, we pray. And remember that we can pray anytime, anywhere and about anything. So this time I think I'm gonna pray. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna bow my head. You can do that too. And I'm going to close my eyes. So let's pray together. Awesome, wonderful, heavenly Father. I'm so glad that you, you spoke to us. You gave us your word, the Bible. And we can trust every word that is in the Bible. Lord, I know that you want us to listen, to hear your word, and also to do what it says. And sometimes, Lord, I need help. And I think we all need help. So God, please help us. Give us your Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us and to direct us, to help us to do what you tell us to do. Thank you, Lord, that we can trust you. Thank you that you love us so much. We love you too. And we pray in Jesus' name, amen. Sweet. That was sweeter than a face full of whipped cream. 
<laughs> now, if your parents say that it's okay, and if you have some whipped cream in a plate, you can try it on your face too, but only do it outside because it's really messy. I'm so glad that you joined me today for our Sunday School lesson. Let's get together again next week as we continue to study the book of James. Until then, you be sure to listen and to do, okay? I love you. Bye. Bye.